Hey, my friends, Tony here. Excited to have you back for another segment here at Elevated Worldwide. Today, we're going to talk about fear because I believe fear is what holds everyone back from really going after their dreams and their desires and the things that are really speaking to them and in their heart. So I want to give you a best acronym I've ever heard regarding fear. So if you take out a piece of paper, write F. E-A-R, down the side of the piece of paper, and next to F, put false. Next to the E, put evidence. Next to the A, put appearing. And next to the R, put real. False evidence appearing real. And unfortunately, it's us. It's our minds that creates the false evidence. And when we do and we begin to emotionalize that false evidence, it appears very real in our lives. In fact, have you ever thought of something that hasn't happened yet? But yet you've created it so much in your head that it is very real to you now. The conversation that's going to happen or the situation that's going to happen, it's very real. In fact, it's so real that your body actually starts reacting to it. You start to get the sweats, your, your face starts to go red, maybe you start to get the shakes because it's become so real to you. But yet in the grand scheme of things, it hasn't even happened yet. That is what fear does to people. It causes people to go to the negative of things that haven't happened and to create the worst thing that could happen. Therefore, it causes fear. And a lot of it happens automatically. We just do it. We just do it. In fact, do you know what the number one fear in the world is? It's not spiders. It's not even death. The number one fear in the world is public speaking. Why? Because as I'm sitting here public speaking, I might be thinking in my head, what are all these people going to think of me? And if I screw up, if I flub my words, they're all going to laugh at me. And so if you're in a pulpit and you're sitting there and you're going to go speak, and if you have a fear of public speaking, you're thinking this in your head and it's happening automatically. But guess what is actually happening? The people in the audience are sitting thinking to themselves, I'm glad it's not me. That's what they're thinking about. They're glad that it's you that's up there and not them. Why? Because they have the same fears. They have the same fears. They're not judging you. They're not pointing their fingers at you. And in fact, when you start to stumble on your words, when you start to hesitate, they're there to clap for you and, and to cheer you on and say, you can do this. I know you can. They're there to be your biggest cheerleaders, not your detriment, but our false evidence that goes in our head. We create that, that false evidence appearing real. So what's one thing, Tony, that I can do today to start to shift my mindset from the false evidence to the positive evidence? And here's what it is. Where your brain automatically goes to false evidence, just create the positive evidence. Meaning, if something is happening in your life, instead of allowing your mind to go to the worst thing that can happen, take a moment and literally say the word stop. Say it out loud because when you do that, what you're doing is you're interrupting your neural pathways for your thought patterns to go that way. You say stop and then say now, what's the best thing that can happen? And let your mind go down the best thing that can happen. But our brains aren't trained to do that. Our brains are there to help us with survival. And so it wants to go to all the threats. It wants to go to the worst things that can happen. We have to train the brain to go to the best things that can happen. On other segments, we will teach you and we can teach you about other technologies, other ways, other other things you can do to shift the brain from this idea of I don't have enough or the worst things that can happen to there's always enough and the best things that can happen. So stay tuned, but today, just for today, say the word stop and see what happens in your brain. Write a comment. Shoot a comment down where you're, where you're partaking of this segment here and let us know what, what happened when you did it. We'd love to know, so please share. Plus, you might be helping other people. Come join us again. Thanks, my friends. 